Sonic, Mario, Pikachu, Nathan Drake, Jack and Dexter, Ratchet and Clank, Psycho Mantis. You know what they all have in common? Memorable characters with designs that burn into your brain. Even a toddler could draw an abomination of them. Now, when we look at this character, one might say, Well, that's pretty easy to draw, but who is she? And that's exactly my point. Who is she? Her name is Kaya. Kaya! And she's the baddest protagonist of the game Kaya Dark Lineage. It's a PS2 game released back in 2003. Developed by Eden Games, the masters of racing games, this action-adventure platformer takes you on a wild ride through a mesmerizing and mysterious world. With her trusty boomerang and unwavering determination, Kaya sets out to rescue her brother and uncover the secrets hidden within the captivating realm of Native City. While the story might not be as intricate as jumping on lizards or capturing wild animals and tiny balls to make them fight each other, Kaya's storytelling and bizarre world have a captivating effect on its players. There are no 30 minute unskippable cutscenes or tedious gameplay elements here, slowly lulling you into a snail paced story progression. Kaya's approach is more like throwing you into the deep end of the water even though you can't swim and say, ah, you'll be fine. I can't swim. As you tag along with her, you'll quickly realize that this adventure won't be a walk in the park. Prepare to be hooked. The world of Kaya Dark Lineage unfolds like a surreal painting, showcasing breathtaking landscapes and imaginative architecture. From vibrant forests and sprawling cities, each step you take reveals a new visual marvel, leaving you in an ear of the game's artistic design and meticulous attention to detail. From vibrant forests to sprawling cities, each step you take reveals a new visual marvel, leaving you in ear of the game's artistic design and meticulous attention to detail. Trust me. What might have seemed like a quick hop into an adventure will soon turn into a delightful realization of Oh shit, I'm gonna be here for a while. Go, in and out, 20 minutes adventure. Now, let's dive into Kia's moveset that allows her to navigate these mesmerizing levels. The game introduces several unique moves and mechanics that set it apart from other platformers of its time. Kaya has the power to ride various creatures called natives. It's like having your very own magical uber. These natives grant her unique abilities and skills while riding them. Talk about upgrading your commute to a whole new level. Get ready to unleash some serious whoop ass. Kaya can string together different attack moves to create devastating combo attacks, making Kratos look like a frightened pussy. Timing and executing these combos not only deals extra damage to enemies, but also makes you look like a total badass while doing it. Talking about killing two birds with one boomerang, you'll have the chance to upgrade Kaya's trusted boomerang. This bad boy becomes more than just a tool for throwing. Kaya can harness various spirit powers she acquires during her journey. It's like having cheat codes in real life. Strategically using these powers will help you overcome obstacles and defeat formidable enemies. You'll feel unstoppable. I know you're dying to find out how this incredible adventure ends. Warning, if you want to experience it firsthand, skip ahead to minute. Okay, here we go. After battling countless enemies and traversing numerous levels, Kaya finally confronts the menacing antagonist, Brazil, who by the way is also her father, in an epic showdown. As the battle reaches its climax, Kaya basically roundhouse kicks her dad, causing his wicked reign to crumble like a stack of dominoes. With Brazil defeated and Frank by her side, Kaya's journey reaches its triumphant conclusion. She and her half-brother bid farewell to the vibrant world they came to know and love, carrying with them memories of an unforgettable adventure. After she and Frank use the portal, they end up in the desert. And the game ends. I know, amazing storytelling, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. She's kinda bad ending. You might be wondering now why you haven't heard about this game before. Well, maybe of the bad ending, but let me tell you why. While the game was well received by some players and critics, it didn't get the same level of mainstream attention as other platformers like Jack and Dexter or Ratchet and Clank. Firstly, the game was released in 2003, a year packed with highly anticipated titles across different genres. It faced tough competition from other platformers and action-adventure games, making it harder to stand out in the market. Plus, the marketing efforts may not have been as extensive, which impacted its visibility and reach. Moreover, games like Jack and Dexter and Ratchet and Clank were part of established franchises with loyal fan bases. Also, gaming preferences and trends can influence a game's success, and Kaya Dark Lineage had a distinct tone, art style, and gameplay mechanics that may have appealed to a narrower or different target audience. Lastly, distribution and availability can make or break a game. Limited availability or difficulties in obtaining physical copies can hinder its reach. 
Don't worry, even though it may not have achieved widespread fame, the game remains an intriguing and unique gem cherished by its dedicated fanbase. So keep in mind that greatness can be found in the unlikeliest of places. Higher Dark Lineage may not be a household name, but it's an adventure worth embarking on. Immerse yourself in the captivating world, master Kaya's incredible moveset and unveil the mysteries that await. Who knows? You might just discover a hidden treasure that will leave you with a smile on your face and a boomerang in your hand. Therefore, I give this game a Okay, let's go.